Hey guys, welcome to Proud Animator. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate egg hatching in After Effects. So for that, this is the illustration I'm going to use in this lesson. And let's check out how to separate the layers in Illustrator to prepare the file for animation. Okay, so right now we are in Illustrator. And if we turn off the visibility of few layers, you can see this is the single egg shape. And on top of it, there are cracked shapes over here in the illustrator itself. So we are going to animate this individual cracks in After Effects. So that's why I have separated the layers of each of the cracks. And other than that, for the duck, the head and the body, leg and the wings are in separate layer. Just like this. So this is how the layers are separated in illustrator. I have also provided the illustration file, you can collect it from description. So let's jump into After Effects. So now we are in After Effects. So the very first thing we are going to do is to parent few layers such as with the top piece, with the top background. Which means is that if we move this top crack, you can see some exposed background layer as well, which is this one. So you are going to parent these background layers with these cracks as well. So for the left crack, it looks something like this, similar to the right crack. Now after that, we are going to pre-comp the whole duck body with the head. Alright, now we are going to parent all these layers and including the duck as well with with the egg so when we move the egg everything moves together now after that we're going to move the anchor point of the egg at this particular point so let's start with the egg shaking animation let's turn off all the visibilities of the layers and let's work with only this layer so let's put a keyframe on rotation and let's jump on to next 8 frames. And we are going to rotate it in this way. Let's jump on to next 8 frames again. And let's give it 12 degree. And after that we are going to add some overshoot. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. So now we are going to crack the top portion first. So let's turn off the visibility of the top base and the background of the top base. Or rather I would like to turn off the visibility of all the layers. And somewhere in between I'm going to trim this layer and let's delete it. So here we are going to move the top portion. Let's move the anchor point over here and put a position and a rotation keyframe. Let's jump on to next 15 frames and we are going to move it over here and also rotate it like this. Let's fix the motion path a bit somewhat like this and also at the end we can decrease the ease like this at the end we can add some overshoot after the fall for this cracked layer so we're going to add overshoot with rotation property. So this one is looking pretty nice. Now after that, we're going to pop out the head of the duck. 
So let's get inside this composition and for now let's turn off the visibility of the other layers. At this point we are going to pop out the head. So put a keyframe on position as well as I am going to put a keyframe on rotation. Let's jump on to next 12 frames, put keyframes and we are going to move it down like this and press F9. So during the pop we are going to decrease the ease at the start. And here we are also going to add some amount of follow through. So we are going to bring it up a bit. So we are adding slight overshoot over here with the position. Let's check out. I think we can speed up the motion a bit. Now let's add some rotation. After that, let's offset the keyframes to add some follow through. Now let's check out from this composition. I think we can bring up the head from here only. Yeah, this one is looking better. Now after the head pop up, we are going to expose the whole body. So we are going to crack the whole egg now. Now after that, we are going to crack the rest of the parts of the egg. So let's start with this left part. I'm going to move the anchor point and put it over here. And put position and rotation keyframe. Let's jump on to next 12 frames. And we are going to bring it down over here. Also, I'm going to add rotation like this. And we are going to add some overshoot as well with the rotation. For the position, let's decrease the ease at the end. Alright, so this one is looking pretty nice. So we are going to follow the process for the other side of the crack. Okay, so this one is also perfect. So let's proceed with this bottom portion. And for these small pieces, we're going to convert it into 3D. So we're going to animate the position as well as the orientation property for this 3D layers. So first we're going to bring it down somewhere around here and we're going to reorient it in 3D like this.
okay now we are going to add some movement in the foot and the wings so let's get inside the duck composition and just turn on this layers so we are going to trim this layers till this point so it is going to be only visible from this crack portion now we are going to select this foot layer let's pre comp it and we are going to add pin over here so let's bring it over here and in this layer we are going to add few pin one over here and one over here then we are going to change the pins into bone layers with the twig based plugin So let's parent foot with this two layer. Now after that, we are going to move the position of this layer from this point to this point. So when it's not cracked, we are going to bring the foot a bit closer so that it is not exposed like this. Also let's add few rotation as well. All right. Now, after this, we are going to add some overshoot with position on this bone tool, and for the foot, we are going to add some overshoot with rotation. And let's offset the keyframes a bit. To add some follow through we can add some offset over here as well let's check out all right so right now we only need to duplicate this layer once again and let's solo these two layers and we are simply going to move it over here and place it like this Now let's check it. Okay, now it's time for the wings. So again, we are going to pre-comp the wings. But before that, let's add few pins over here. Let's convert the pins into bone layers. And let's parent it in reverse order. Let's pre-comp the whole wing. So we are going to add some rotation on this particular keyframes, on this particular bone layers. Now after that, we are going to add some follow through. I mean some overshoot with the rotation and we are going to offset the keyframes then to add some follow through. Let's check out. Alright, so after that, we can simply duplicate this composition and place it on the other side. Now, let's check out the whole animation. Alright, so like this you can animate egg hatching in After Effects. So do try it on your own, I am also providing the illustration file. So that is it for this lesson. If you like the video then make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the lesson then make sure to comment down, I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all the future updates. Until then, goodbye.